Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633 and today I'm bringing you a review of the Power Ranger Super Mega Force Silver Morpher with Silver Ranger Key. Now the Silver Morpher is not the best Morpher we got from Band of America's offering, but for $15 it isn't really too much to complain about and while it would be nice to get the Japanese one, I think this was pretty much good enough for me. Anyways, we'll take a quick look at the box. I really like how they redesigned the boxes now that I know it's still the open window style kind of box where you can just, when you pull up the Try Me tab, you can just activate the sound that's already in there. I like the fact that they actually seal the key much better than any of the previous releases. The back, it shows a whole bunch of other products like the Morpher, what it does, the, the what's it called, the Blaster, the Basic Saber, and the Spear, which I'll review as well. And the other keys are in the line, so I really like the design of these boxes just a tad bit more. And it says here the power sweepstakes as well. Sticking it off to the side, we'll now look at the Morpher itself. Now the Morpher is a bit small, but I do like the size since it's a lot more good for what's it called, the holding. The Japanese one was a lot bigger and it was kind of a little too big at times, so it looked really odd in your hands. So this is pretty holding friendly kind of size. In this mode, obviously, it just has a few sounds. You just press these and it just cycles through them. So there isn't much, too much going on there. Uh, most of the paint is there, which is nice. As you can see, it's got most of the gold. Um, it's missing some silver and all that. And it even has inclusion of putting in the key at the bottom. I doubt we're going to get an anchor key at this point, but who knows. Uh, the cool part also is that it does open up just like the Japanese release, so it's cool to get that intact. Well, obviously, there kind of would need to since it's part of the whole morphing thing. And then, other than that, it's pretty much it from there. We got, now we'll take a look at the silver key. Now, the silver key, I really like since it's got a nice silverish, like, a, it's got a little more color to it since... Isn't it just this dull, I'm not sure how well it's picking up camera, but isn't just this dull gray, it's almost like a shiny gray, it's almost like a silver, it's like, it's pretty silver actually, so once it's not just a dull gray, it's actually pretty, it's actually silver, so, so that's good. Just to show a little difference between the basic other keys and so on, here's the next to the red key, which for some reason the camera's not picking up pink, but still looks pretty nice actually next to it, so... Good. Uh, before we go and put it into this morpher, I think I'm going to show quickly how what it says in the Legacy Morpher. Well, not the Legacy Morpher, the Legendary Morpher. Basically, we just plug it in, and then it does this. So yeah, it says Super Mega Force Silver, so that's pretty cool. Now, if you have all six keys you just plug it into order so i'm just going to go to this quickly okay i'm going to get the blue key now screen. Super Mega Force Green. Super Mega Force Pink. Super Mega Force Then, you finally put in Super Mega Force Silver and it's going to actually say an extra phrase. It didn't because I accidentally refreshed it, so I'm gonna start over from the beginning. And now that I put all the keys back in, since basically what happened is that I played with this key twice since I already put it in first, so that's what caused it. Now it should see the phrase. So yeah, once you put in all six keys, it will say it's morphing time, so. It's cool that they at least had an extra gimmick to go alongside it. So, anyways, to now go back to the morpher itself. We now have the silver morpher. Now, basically what happens is that when you put in a key, 
doesn't matter what key you put in, but we'll just put the silver since it does come with it and it's a morpher, so. We plug it in, it makes this sound. Close it up. So it says, I'm going legendary, and it has like a confirmation sound we put in, and then it actually activates a new sound. So it just activates two new sounds, but here we go. So yeah, it is a bit disappointing that that's pretty much all the Morpher does, and if you wish, like I mentioned earlier, it does have there. It doesn't activate a new sound or anything, but you can put in any key, and it won't it won't change the sounds. So it's pretty much just, a, I guess, a holding thing. That's about it. Then we can just remove the key, and it makes another sound. So it, basically what happens is that it presses against this button inside, and then activates it. So as you can see, it doesn't matter what key you put in, that's pretty much all it does there. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show a comparison of this key and the Bandai Japan key. Now, here is the Gokai Silver key. This is a candy toy, but showing a little quick comparison between the two. As you can see, this is just the dull gray like any of the Ranger keys and all that, but this is more silver, so it's cool that they actually put the silver color to it. Now, to show what this key does in the Mobile Arts, since... I'm going to show a comparison like I did with the other Ranger Key reviews. So yeah, for those who don't know, uh, in Japan, when they put it into the mobile arts, it pretty much states that it's Go Kaija with the question mark. So that's kind of a hilarious nod that they did there. It's Kind of cool what they did overall. Now, for the Morpher itself, I gotta say for $15, it's okay for what you're getting. It's a cool display piece, like a lot of people have been saying. And overall, it's okay to just play around with. Even if with the lack of sounds and no LEDs and no scanner, even though the Japanese release didn't have a scanner. It was just this little red piece that went down and it didn't scan it. But overall, it's still a pretty decent Morpher. And it is definitely still better than the Samurizer, and just a tad bit better than the Robomorpher, since it does at least open up. I mean, the Robomorpher does open and everything, but personally I think this thing just works a little better, since the key fits and doesn't look off place like the cards do in the Leon Cellular, or the, not Leon Cellular, but the Robomorpher, Nightmorpher, so... I'm going to say this is pretty cool enough, so it's worth for $15. Anyways, please kind of subscribe, check out Toka News, Hirotaka, Roger Neon, and the channels down below, and I'll see you YouTube. Bye.